If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own. In order to solve this question, we're going to want to draw a free body diagram of this small object. Now the first force is the familiar force of gravity that is acting downward on the mass. And then we have a force that is introduced in this chapter known as the electric force. And we know that the electric force has to be pointing upward in order to keep this mass suspended motionless in the air. In fact, since the object is suspended, we know that the magnitude of the electric force is equal to the magnitude of the gravitational force. In other words, we can set them equal to each other. Now, of course, from an earlier chapter, we remember that the gravitational force is equivalent to mg. The electric force is equal to the electric field, which is E, multiplied by the magnitude of the charge. Now, we can easily solve this equation for the electric field by dividing both sides by the absolute value of the charge. And now all we have to do is plug in the known values. Notice that the mass was given in grams, we have to use kilograms, the standard unit, and so we'll have to multiply that by 10 to the minus 3. That will automatically convert it into kilograms. Also notice that the charge was given in microcoulombs, and that needs to be converted into the standard unit of coulombs by multiplying by 10 to the minus 6. And when you crunch that down on your calculator, you should get an electric field of approximately 2.07 times 10 to the positive 3, and the unit of electric field is newtons per coulomb. So that would be the correct answer for the magnitude. As for the direction, we need to keep the following statement in mind. The electric force on a negatively charged object is in the direction opposite to the electric field. Now we recall from the free body diagram that the electric force was projected upward. And so based on the statement we just read, that means the electric field has to be pointing in the direction opposite to that, which in this case will be pointing downward. So downward ends up being the correct direction for the electric field. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.